What's going on, brother? What's your name? Davion. Davion? Alright, I'm gonna do that. Now, what was the brother telling you? about this uh, scripture right here, about how even though we Israelites, all of us will be saved because we're not actually fulfilling our duty. Right, right, right. Now you know you're an Israelite? Yeah. Yeah, how you know? Actually, I'm going to just say yeah because it was just told to me, right. but I know I got the power of God, so that's how I'm going to say I know. Okay. Do you know who the Israelites are? No. Give me 1 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 13. Help, help. Now, God has created 18 nations of people on the earth. Right. Everybody that you see, you might see them Chinese, white, African, Arab. Everybody, they descend from a common ancestor of the Bible. Ultimately, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, through Shem, you have a chosen bloodline, or rather, a chosen people that the Lord has been dealing with from old. From Abraham, Isaac, all the way down to Jacob, that's the people on his side. Those people on his side, they are not African American. They are not just wetbacks. They are not Negroes. They are not slaves. They are not porch monkeys. These are the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy, uh, you can bring this up. Chronicles, chapter 16 and verse 13. Oh, you see them Israel. It says what? Oh, you see them Israel. And then again? Oh, you see them Israel. See them Israel, read on. His servant. Ye children of Jacob. Ye what? Ye children of Jacob. We are the children of Jacob. Read on. His chosen one. His what? His chosen one. Now we niggas. His chosen one. Average. His chosen one. His chosen one. Don't you feel chosen? It's already in your spirit to feel chosen. You are chosen one, brother. Who are the chosen people of God? Those are the Israelites. The Lord has chosen them and set them aside to be his people. Now, growing up in a society, you were taught many lies many different things. You were taught that your God looks like where is that? a man like him. You were taught in America that your God looks like him. You know, that's the truth. You were taught white Jesus. Let's be honest. You see white Jesus. What does your God look like according to the Bible? He got hair and wool. Now what was his nationality? Go to Hebrews 7 and 14. You call it that, Dan. Christ was an Israelite. Christ wasn't just a Negro man walking down Nazareth saying, What y'all on? No, Christ was an Israelite. He was a Jew. He came from the Jews. Let's read this. It's Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Read it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It says what? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It said, It is evident. When something is evident, it's plain. It's evident that Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Where do you see the tribe of Judah up here? Who is the tribe of Judah? Yeah, yeah, go. Look on that list. Yeah, who is, now what is that name next to it? American Blacks. So on one side, these are all the titles that the so-called white man placed upon us. But on the other side, this is what God actually called us. So Christ came from the tribe of Judah. What tribe do you think you're from? Judah. Christ came from the same tribe you came from. So if Christ was a Judite, the so-called African... Give me Ezra chapter. You said what? How? Give me Ezra chapter 4 and verse 20. We're going to show you. Ezra chapter 4 and verse number 20. Ezra chapter 4 and verse number 20. There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem. It says what? There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem. You just had plain men. There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem. Jerusalem had mighty kings. Our forefathers was kings. You have a whole book in the Bible called First and Second Kings. Who do you think those kings were? Those was us, brother. It was Jerusalem. At one point in time, you had kings over Jerusalem. You know what? Which have ruled over all countries. Which have what? Which have ruled over all countries. You know what? But the eye of the river and toll and tribute and custom was paid unto them. You know that? We had tribute being paid unto us. It's like we got to pay taxes now. It was paying taxes to us. It was giving the gold to us. We need that to come back. But how did it get like that in the first place? What happened? What did we do to get on that level? Deuteronomy 28 1. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Yeah. And it shall come to pass 
if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and we listen to God as the Israelites, you know what? To observe and to do all his commandments. And if we do his commandments, what's going to happen? Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above, says what? Will set thee on high. You know what? Above all nations. Above what? Above all nations. Are equal to. Above all nations. You know what? Above all nations of the earth. See that? If we kept God's commandments and listened to him by the hand of Moses, the Lord would set us on high above all nations. At right. one point in time, we was listening to God. We was keeping his commandments. We was keeping the Pentecost. We was keeping the Feast of Tabernacles. We had a beard on our face. We wouldn't eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. We wouldn't eat pork. We wouldn't smoke and weed. We wouldn't have our pants sagging all the way down to our damn foot. We wouldn't go into the clubs on Friday nights. We was keeping God's commandments. So if we was keeping God's commandments and good things happened to us, just by default, what do you think if we broke those commandments? The opposite. We're going to read about the opposite. 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen, you know what? To observe, to do all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses. That what? That all these curses. That all these curses. All these curses will what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. These curses are going to overtake you. Even to this day. You have something called the curses of Deuteronomy. These curses. Yeah. Deuteronomy just means, um, chiefly, Deuteronomy is right after Numbers. So you have Genesis, um, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now these is just called the Pentateuch or the Torah, right? Which chiefly is the Old Testament. Deuteronomy, is, the Israelites was traveling uh, through the wilderness at this time. Moses is established things, they get things in order before they go on a conquest of Joshua, before Joshua takes over. Now, the curses of Deuteronomy is what? These are curses that was put upon the Israelites to this day for breaking God's commandments. Let's read some of them. Verse 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Is what? His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. As a curse on the Israelites, it said the Israelites will have an evil eye toward their own brother. So, question. You know what the spirituality thing, like the evil eye breaks? Yeah, I'll be saying that. I mean, that's that's chiefly that's it's foolishness. It's not, you know what I'm saying, that's like saying when you see a black a black a black cat you got bad luck. That's not necessarily true. Because you can have one of those things and stuff could be going the opposite. Now more so this this is talking about, this is actually, this is real. It's a curse. There's only one race of people and group of people on this earth that continually have an evil eye toward their brother. What does that sound like? Hatred, jealousy. Do you see the white man having hatred and jealousy toward his own people? Not too often. Not too often. What about the Chinese man? What about the Arabs? That's on every gas station in the hood. Yeah, they working together. Why is it you go on 76th, go on 64th, go on Cottage Ave, Cottage Grove, why is it the complete opposite? And it's only with us. Again, this is divine. This is a curse for breaking his commandments. You will have an evil eye toward your own brother. You will be walking up down the street. You don't even know this dude. He's looking you up and down and sizing you up. Or he might be, yo, check it out somewhere, you turn around, you checked it out like an idiot, now you got robbed. These things, they happen. Right. Read on. And to the wife of his bosom, and to the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Read that part again, toward the wife. What? And to the wife of his bosom. Toward the wife of his bosom, he will have a evil eye. How are we treating our women nowadays, be honest? Crap. Crap. We passing them might do something with them, pass them to the guys, right? At one point in time, we didn't treat our woman like that. Right. You got a mother, right? How do you feel if a mother just did something with her and passed it to the guy? It don't feel good. Nobody would say, yeah, you could do, you could just take my mother and pass it to the guys. I mean, if you say that, you just, 
your mind not right. right. No man will want that to happen to his mother. Right. Just like you treat your mother, you should treat the women around you. Right. Just like you would treat your sister, you should treat the women around you. Because right. they are your sisters. Right. Once we start having that mentality, there wouldn't be no taking another man's girl. That Mr. That oh, Mr. Steel girl. It wouldn't be none of that. That Trey Song spirit, right? You gotta cut that out, man. That's somebody little sister. That's somebody mom. That's somebody daughter, right? Read on. And to the remnant of his children. And to the what? And to the remnant of his children. He will even have an evil eye toward his children. You had your father growing up in the household? This a little bit. He left. Yeah. Let's read it out of the Bible. So the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Are you going to stay in the house? Which he shall leave. Go take care of his son. Which he shall leave. Go take him to football play. Which he shall leave. He's going to guide him. Which he shall leave. First on the Israelites, that the Israelites, their fathers would be most known for leaving the house. We don't see that amongst the Chinese men. The Chinese man is taking his son to karate practice. This earth is white belt. Everything is going smooth. Right? You're not, no, you're not kidding. Right? Anyway, these are the curses of what? Deuteronomy 28. Why did these things happen? We turned our back on God. We didn't keep his what? We didn't keep his commandments. Now the next brother, he's gonna come in here and he's gonna edify you and teach you what we need to be doing in the last days. Right. With that, we give it all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Ba Shema Mashiach, Kwame Rakia was shot. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Death to America. 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 Kwame Yashala. Kwame Yashala. Uh, could you somebody give me the book of, uh, somebody give me the book of Zephaniah 201, somebody give me the book of uh, Luke 14 and 23, oh that, but I'd like to give him first, we call him on your house, by show me how it's shot, brothers come here week in and week out, coming to edify the people, coming to uh, call the people back to the marriage, man. Coming to gather our people back together, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we that nation that's not desired. Hey, we hated by the people that's in this, in this land of our captivity, man. Don't nobody like the so-called blacks. Don't nobody like the, the they don't mind, don't nobody like or respect the so-called Hispanics, man. They stole from the Native Americans, man. You know what I'm saying? That was here already, man. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, we are the nation that's not desired. Somebody give me uh, uh give me Zephaniah. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh, oh. You got Zephaniah? Bring it up. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. We do. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. O oh, nation not what? O oh, nation, nation not, not desire. We the most hated nation. O oh, nation, nation not, not desire. desire. That's it, huh? Give me the book of, uh, give me the book of, uh, uh, Luke. Give me that Luke. Like, like I was just saying, man, hey, we the nation I desire, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got to gather ourselves together in these last days, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, through, our, through us coming together, man, hey, that's our power. Coming together through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, through keeping these commandments. And they don't like us being in order, man. You know what I'm saying? They like our people out of order. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they like you hating your brother, man. You know what I'm saying? As it said in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 54, which I'm going to bring out uh, a little bit later. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is, what, this is what they want you to be doing, man. They want you to be out here, hey, sliding on the ops, smoking op pack. You know what I'm saying? Hey, calling your brothers your ops. When the real ops is walking around with these badges on, hey, you're making these wicked decrees, man. Hey, give, me, right. uh, give me Isaiah 10 and 1 and bring that out first. Uh, uh, Luke 14 and 23. Look at Luke chapter 14 and verse number 23. Yeah. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. He said, And what? He said, And do what? And compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So look, this is what we out here to do, man. We out here to come and call our people and compel them to come back in so they can be saved. 
so we can stop dying out here, so we can stop killing each other out here, so we can stop going to jail, so we can, hey, so we can, uh, so we can learn how to, uh, you know what I'm saying, have patience with the most side and, 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 and make it through this land of our captivity until our Savior come. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So bring that out. Give me that, uh, give me that Isaiah 10 and 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. You said what? Woe unto, unto them, them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. To, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. See, look, they're gonna rob the fatherless, man. Hey, woe to those who make wicked decrees, man. And they keep making these wicked decrees that keep our people down in oppressed, man. And put our people in section eight where they over the mothers that's out here, hey, with no fathers to rule the household, man. And they ain't praying on them, man. They out here praying on the kids, putting whatever they put on TV, man. Saying, hey, it's all right to be a damn homosexual, man. To be a damn, to, uh, it's all right for the damn, for a damn girl to wear pants and a damn boy to wear a dress, man. That's off, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is what keeping our people down, these wicked decrees, man. Now, if you say something about a damn homosexual, hey, it's a hate crime, you gonna go to jail, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gonna get locked up. Hey, because, uh, uh, cause our people fall into it all the time, man. And they dealing with these, they dealing with these people out here, and, uh, and the damn man a lot to you and say, guess what? Oh, I'm a girl. And then guess what? You shoot that brother. You know what I'm saying? And now guess what? You going to jail for a damn hate crime because that man deceived you. You know what I'm saying? Today I heard the is making these wicked decrees, man. Like the Lord said, hey, woe to those who make wicked decrees, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, give me a book. Give me the book of uh, Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Hey, because, hey, it's high time, man. We got to awaken up out our sleep. We got to know who we are in these last days. Hey, the way to know, hey, the way to understand your present situation is to understand where you come from, man, and to know who you are, man. That's how you're going you to know how to hey, conduct yourself in this present world, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, make it do this stuff. Give me that, give me that book, man. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. No. In that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Oh, you said low time. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Now you said go ahead and stay taking a nap. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Hey, keep being a nigga and doing whatever the hell you want to do out here in the streets and not keeping no commandments. It is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Oh, you said it's nearer than we believe? It's our salvation nearer than we believe. Said, the Lord said, hey man, it is high time to wake up out of sleep. It is at the highest time. All this death and destruction happened in the, uh, in the, in, in the nation of Israel, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? All of our people is out here getting slain in the streets by each other, man. Right. We out here slain each other, getting slain by the police, and nobody understand why this is happening, man. And because we out here sleep. Sleep walking, walking around, hey, and, 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 and we down falling down the steps, breaking our neck. You know what I'm saying? You see what happened to George Floyd? He had that, he had a damn foot on his neck, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened to our people, man. Hey, what happened to the dude, uh, what's the dude name? Uh, 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 Kyle Rittenhouse, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the, the so called black man that's trying to stop him, you know, getting more years, then he, he got off. We're trying to stop. The white man, the so-called white man, for shooting the people. Right. Hey, we hey, we talk about, hey, we gonna talk about or post something on on, on, on Facebook or Instagram <laughs> about hey shooting somebody and they coming at our door, they locking us up. But the so-called white man, hey, just went into the damn grocery store and killed ten so-called black people on the Sabbath right. day. But guess what they, that's why they got killed on a Sabbath day. They was out here risking their life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, to go and buy abominations. Hey, give me that, uh, give me that, uh. Give me that book of uh, uh, Samuel 2 and 6. Hey, because our people don't understand, man, when they out here, hey, when they out here uh, breaking the Sabbaths, hey, not listening to the Lord, and hey, they risking judgment every day. But this is why the Lord said, hey, it's high time to wake out of sleep. And hey, we got to gather ourselves together because we're the nation that's not desired. And the Lord called the prophets to come out here to call our people. We didn't call for the Elams, the, uh, the Ishmaelites, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Hagarians, these damn Africans that hate our people and they're the same color as us. We ain't call it, hey, we ain't call it for them. We call it brothers like you, brothers that's going to sit here because the man's going to the Lord. You stop right here. Not because we called you and you could have kept walking that best stiff neck. Like Eve, like like uh like Jake. Hey sisters, y'all got y'all got some time to come and listen to the word of the Lord? Know who y'all is? See, my prime example. The Lord said they are stiff neck people. They don't want to listen to who they are in these last days. They wanna stay out here and sleep. That's sleep right there. 
they still sleeping love and slumber right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bring that out, man. This is the book of Second First Samuel, chapter two, verse six. The Lord killeth and maketh the lie. He what? The Lord killeth and maketh the lie. What? The Lord killeth and maketh the lie. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Look, the Lord kills, man. So when you out here. Uh, 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 just walking around sleep, and you risking you getting judged, and you risking getting decapitated, and you risking getting shot in the damn head by the damn police or a straight bullet. Hey, cause the Lord kill us and bring us back up, man. You know what I'm saying? When y'all here breaking the commandment, hey, you can be like them people. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad that happened. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can be like them people that's in there on the Shabbat on the Sabbath day, hey, sharpening, uh, spinning. You know what I'm saying? And they get coming there getting chopped down by a so-called white man. Let's say, hey, uh, uh, death to all niggas. You know what I'm saying? And he posted this for two months. And they ain't locked him up. Hey, let you, let you just have a gun. Let you just have a gun. Look like you got some. What the fuck is going to do to you, bro? Hey, what? Stop your ass. They might do what? They might what? They ain't even trying to talk. They ain't going to answer trying to lock me up. Straight lock you up, man. They going to what? Or kill me. Or kill you. They not gonna they not gonna sit over here and play with the so-called the so-called black man. And cause they know they fear us because they know that we the chosen. They hate us, they jealous of us. You know what I'm saying? Cause they know that guess what? Their time is coming. They, they, their judgment is set in stone. There's nothing they can do. Hey, give me uh give me uh Hebrews chapter uh twelve uh and start at verse sixteen. Come on, okay. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. As who? As Esau. The so-called white man, right? As Esau. That's right. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He said he was rejected, right? For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. See, look, so the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, the so-called these other nations of people, these heathens, you know what I'm saying, that stem from the Edomites, hey, they got no salvation. Uh, hey, but the Lord gave them, the, hey, it's giving salvation to who? It's giving salvation to Israel. You know what I'm saying? He's giving salvation to the Israelites, to these brothers that's waking up in this high time out of their slumber, man. That's coming back to learn who they are in these last days to get salvation when the Lord come back. Because guess what? When the Lord come back, hey, so uh, all these so-called uh, red-skinned people, these damn Edomites, these white people, and, they, and these people that put our people in captivity, hey, they gonna go in captivity. Hey, hey they gonna be our slaves, just like we were slaves to them. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, give, uh, now go to that, uh, now go to that, uh, do the robbery to me Hey, because, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we got a so-called black man. You know what I'm saying? What's your, what's your nationality, brother? African-American. African-American, right? All right, but give me that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 37. Yeah. Right. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Look, this is the curse of Deuteronomy 28, and this is a book, this is a curse where you're going to go by a proverb and a byword. African and American is nothing but a proverb and a byword. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these is, hey, these is labels and titles given. By, you know what I'm saying, so I, I, uh, by our oppressors, man. You know what I'm saying, because how the heck is you African and American? You know how they're African, there's like 47 different countries in Africa, bro. Countries, not states, countries. And in those countries, it's different states in those countries, bro. For over 1,500 dialects, bro, they speak different languages out there, bro. So how the heck is you African, you know what I'm saying, and American? You know African came from a so-called white man, that term African. You know, uh, America comes from a certain white man too, right? Bring it up. Hey, but the, but the, but the so-called African name came from this man named Leo Scipio Africanus, bro. And, uh, and another and another, and another so-called white man named uh, Amerigo Vespucci, bro. You know what I'm saying? So these, so you don't, your, your history don't, you know what I'm saying, stem from no damn so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you was not that proverb and that by word. This is why, this is why you said, that's uh, so why Lord said, hey, it's high time to wake out of slumber. Hey, come back and know who you are in these last days. Huh. What you got? What you got, though, man? Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 44. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. 
because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Like, was you just listening? Because I'm about to ask you, hey, what should you be doing in these last days if you're trying to find out who you are? Only way you're going to find out who you are is if you're doing this thing all this time. You know what I'm So what you should be doing? I'm going to read it again. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Oh, you said all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and take and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. To what? To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So what should you be doing in these last days? Following his commandments. Keep the commandments of the Most High God. So let's find out how you keep the Lord's commandments. Hey, do you eat pork, brother? That's good. Do you eat shrimp? Do you eat crab, lobster? Catfish? Yeah, nah. Ah, yeah. Let's get, hey, get in the book of Leviticus uh, 11 and verse 9. No, no. It's all fish or just catfish? No, nah, listen, we're about to tell you what it is. Because look, this is, what you, this is good to ask this question so you can understand who you are. And you're you waking up out of that slumber, man. So you can know. Like you said, hey, you got to keep his commandments. It's the only way you're going to find out when his commandments is that you Hey, give me that uh, study to show you how to see the I think that's it. Second Timothy 2 and 15. Oh, no. That's what you, you got to do. Like you said, you got to keep the commandments, right? You said, hey, you ask that question, like, is this all fish? So this is what you got. This is what we want you to do. We don't really want you to believe what we say. We want you to, guess what? Get your Bible, get to a 1611 Bible, a King James Version Bible. Hey, read to do this. Study to show thyself the person. It's the book of Second Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved. He said, don't study. Study to show thyself approved. Hey, just believe what I'm telling you. Study to show thyself approved. Y'all look like I know what I'm talking about, so I'm going to just, you know, you're going to take my word for it. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Now you said unto who? Unto God. Unto me. Unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Look, so this is what you gotta do. You gonna say you ask that good question. Hey, you gotta study the show yourself approved. So I'm gonna tell you what the, I'm gonna tell you what you should be doing. You said you eat catfish. Hey, this is what the Lord said about that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because you are the worker. You gotta put the work in. Hold that one more time and give me the book of Baruch 428. Because it was because of because of look, it was because of our own man while we went astray and while we don't know who we are in these last days. While we think that we just niggas, you know what I'm saying, a uh, ops and we just uh, uh we African and damn Americans, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, while we think we just don't believe in no God and no God can man. Bring it up, man, when we get it. It's the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse twenty-eight. For as it was your mind to go astray, oh, it was somebody else's mind. As it was your mind to go astray, and the devil made me do it. As it was your mind to go astray from God, so being return, seek him ten times more. Seek him less. Seek him ten times more. Just do whatever the hell I want and think I'm going to be cool. Seek him ten times more. I ain't got to do no work. I ain't got to study. Seek him ten times more. For he hath for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Look, so you know what I'm saying? Hey, he that put these plagues upon you, and one that put us in these curses, which the most high from guess what? Not listening to him. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you, uh, for example, if you don't listen to your mom, you don't listen to your dad, what's going to happen, brother? Consequences and repercussions. Consequences and repercussions. So the consequences and repercussions of us not listening to the most high God, hey, that he put us in these curses. While we don't know who we are, we, hey, we go by these proverbs and bad words like African American or black. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we, uh, we don't know what to eat, we don't know our culture, we don't know what land we're from. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is why. You know what I'm saying? These are the curses and repercussions. The most high took his commandments from us. So we so now we're not living, we dying. Because the most high said what in the proverb chapter seven and verse two. He said, bring it up. Bring it up. Where we get? I'm about to get to this. 
Proverbs 7 and 2. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Yeah. Keep my commandments and live. And what? And, and live. And die. And, and live. And just don't, just, don't, just don't do nothing but just go ahead and do whatever the hell I want to do. And live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. And thy law as the apple of my eye. And so, look, you got to keep the commandments, brother. You got to keep the commandments and live. Because, right. look, we ain't keeping the commandments. So, is our people living every day or is we dying every day? We're dying every day. Dying every day, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't keeping the commandments because we don't know who we are. You know what I'm saying? So, you said, hey, you didn't know that you, would, that you couldn't eat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I thought he gave. I thought he gave. Um, a fish and a loaf of bread to somebody. Yeah. A fish, he gave, he did give some fish and a loaf of bread and he fed thousands of people. You know what I'm saying? And he did do that. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shah did do that through the, uh, through the miracles of the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't do it of his own. He did it through the power of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he did do that, but what kind of fish? And it's about to get into it. Like the, like, the brother, like, like the brother just brought out in uh, uh, 2 Timothy uh, 2. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we gotta uh, study to show that stuff approved. So after I tell you this, the words of the Lord, hey, it's on you after you hear the words of the Lord to do your own research. Right. It's like, do your what again, brother? Let me hear you say my own research. Right. Right. You gotta do your own research. Then comes let the, uh, the, the let the words of the Lord be true in every man alive, brother. That's right. Bring it up. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Of everything in the water, these what you going to eat. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters. have no fins or no scales. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. An abomination. So look, the thing about catfish, and catfish do not have no scales. They got fins, but they don't got no scales. The Lord said what? Hey, everything that have fins and scales. What have fins and scales in the world? He said catfish? What, 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 have, what have fins and scales? Fish. Fish. Salmon. Exactly, it's a good clean fish. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but the catfish is like the damn king of the water, brother. It's eating the poop. It's eating the dead carcasses of the fish. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you will cut that down, you will cut that down catfish open, and that thing will still be swimming around like it's not even dead, bro. Why would you want that swimming around in your body? What is controlling that fish, bro? You might be eating a damn robot or something. You, know, you never know what you're eating, bro. You know what I'm saying? They got so many, hey, the, 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 the making is crafty, man. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want us to be, they don't want us to know that we are the nation of Israel. Bring that up. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Look, that was, this is another commandment. You know what I'm saying? And hey, the most I said, and you went, you went into the, uh, to the food law, right? That you should be eating everything in the waters. You know said, you said, you don't eat pork, so that's good. That's a commandment to not eat pork. You said, you don't eat crab, so that's good. You don't eat shrimp, that's good. You don't so that's good, no shellfish. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but now you know that guess what? That you're not supposed to be eating catfish because it don't have what? Scales. No, you're right. You're right. It don't have scales and It got fins, it just don't got scales. And the Lord said that you gotta eat of the fish that's having what? They got what? Scales and fins. Scales and fins. Right. Brother, they got scales and fins. 